Hello my lovely rock stars, we are back again with another edition of our bookish bulletin, a look at what's happening in my reading universe. Just in case you guys didn't know, my name is June and I am based in the city-state of Singapore. Welcome back to my channel if you guys are already subscribers and if you're not, please do hit the subscribe button right now. This is the Noble channel where we talk about living and literature. The Epigram Books Fiction Prize was established in 2015 to promote contemporary Singapore creative writing and reward excellence in Singapore literature. Since 2020, the EBFP, that is the name that is uh, commonly known as, has been open to writers from Southeast Asia as well, which I think it's fantastic. For the first time in its history, we have joint winners for the 2021 edition of the Epigram Books Fiction Prize. The winners are Mei Han Boy for her story The Formidable Miss Cassidy and Sebastian Sim for his story and the award goes to Sally Bong. They both will be receiving 15,000 Singapore dollars each and their books are set to be published in the second half of this year. Other worthy finalists were Wesley Leon Aruzu, Pallavi Gopinath Ane, Daryl Chilim Yam and H.Y. Yang from Malaysia, I believe. They were awarded 5,000 Singapore dollars each. Their books will also be slated for release in the next half of the year. If past winners are anything to go by, you know you can expect some really good reads coming your way. What is available now from Epigram Books is Scarlet Harlot. Our society often regards escort work as a taboo subject. Rather than understand the worker's point of view, they tend to marginalize or even shun them. Ashley Chan seeks to help these very people understand what working as an escort is really like and why escort workers are like just any other working professionals, they are simply people who are trying to make ends meet. Written together with veteran pop culture writer Jerry Lim, Scarlet Harlot gives a glimpse into Ashley's double life. By day, she's a university student working for her degree. By night, she's working as an escort to pay her bills. Personally, I do not encourage people to judge others based on their profession. I reckon this book will provide some very interesting and illuminating insights to a certain lifestyle. Just the title alone is enough to get me interested. So Scarlet Harlot available now from Epigram Books. Moving on to another local publisher here in Singapore, Ethos Books. Why did independent Singapore celebrate 200 years of its founding as a British colony in 2019? What does Merdeka mean for Singaporeans? And what are the possibilities of doing a decolonial history in Singapore? Some very interesting questions and definitely great topics for discussion and debates here. For those of you who are interested in history, nationhood and identity, I feel this book is for you. Raffles Renounced Towards a Merdeka History, edited by Alfian Sa'ad, Faris Joraimi, as well as Sai Siu Min. Guys, you already probably heard uh, of me talking about Alfian Sa'ad quite a fair bit. He is a um, poet, author, and playwright. Faris Joraimi, he is a student of history at the Yale and US College, whose interests are in a narrative, traditional, um, cultural politics and intellectual history of the Malay world. And Sai Siu Min is a Taipei-based Singaporean historian who researches Singapore, Malaysia and Indonesia with a focus on imperial formation in Southeast Asia, the cultural politics of colonialism and nationalism, language, race and Chineseness. This book is now available for pre-order from Ethos Books 
all your pre-order copies will be autographed by the editors and I believe you will also receive an ebook version for every purchase. I'll put the link in the description box below um, so you guys can go check it out and grab yourself a copy of this definitely very interesting read. Sadly, we have received the news that Singapore Cultural Medallion recipient Yang Poingon had passed away this month. You guys know that I talked about discovering his works and I found his stories leaving me um, such a deep impression. Some of the subjects he brings up are so complex, but yet he was able to deliver it with both simplicity and sophistication at the same time. Our thoughts go out to Mr. Ying's family and his loved ones. This is indeed a great loss to the literary world, but we are truly fortunate that his books have been translated so that readers like me can enjoy them and honour his memory. On the international scene, there have been quite a number of new releases at the start of this year, but this particular book caught my eye and it is The Divines by Ellie Eaton. Can we ever really escape our past? The girls of St. John the Divine, an elite English boarding school, were notorious for flipping their hair, harassing teachers, chasing boys and chain-smoking cigarettes. They were fiercely loyal, sharp-tongued and cuttingly humorous in the way that only teenage girls can be. For Josephine, now in her 30s, the years at St. John were a lifetime ago. She hasn't spoken to another divine in 15 years, not since the day the school shuttered its doors in disgrace. Now that is seriously something that I want to dive into. I am getting the Gossip Girl and Pretty Little Liars kind of a vibe, but um, grown up now, so I guess they're looking back on something that they might have done in their past. Now, this book is named one of the most anticipated book of 2021. It is uh, released by HarperCollins in the US and Hodder and Stoughton in the UK. Thank you for joining me in this episode of My Lit Scene. Do share with me if you have any new releases that you are looking forward to. Until I see you again, remember to be kind, be brave and go on out there and live your lit life.